So we actually took a 2012 planter and went and bought a 2009. Hey guys, it's Brian. We are finishing up planting double crop beans today. So this will officially end planting for the season. This will be our fourth year with this planter. Precision Planting asked if I could explain why when we bought this 2009 planter in 2019, we replaced a 2012 planter with it. So let me tell you what our old planter was, and it had a couple precision things on it. It was a 24 row, 30 inch, 1770 NT, like this, but it had individual three bushel boxes on each row. It wasn't central fill like this planter. We ran that for yeah four years, I think. And then in 2015, we did add floating row cleaners with precision playing clean sweep and the Delta Force hydraulic downforce. <laughs> One thing we noticed when you're full of soybeans, 150 pounds in each row unit, um, when we went from static airbags to the always thinking, always adjusting row by row hydraulic downforce, <laughs> We found we probably should have been planting with our airbags deflated when the planter was full. Uh, the downforce actually didn't go to very much downforce until like the last couple rounds before we filled when the boxes were getting empty. So we liked what we saw there and it really is adaptable over varying conditions and the floating row cleaner is adjustable with the clean sweep. We had uh, screw adjust row cleaners before that. And as we got into more and more no-till, and we're pretty well all no-till now, unless we put some field tile in, we do some tillage, no-till and cover crops, uh, those screw adjusts became a pain to adjust. Now, I just have this lever here in the cab that I adjust air pressure with, and I can put more down pressure on the row cleaners, I can float them, or I can even pick them all the way up off the ground if I want to. The Delta Force and the clean sweep with the floating row cleaners, we wanted to transfer that over, keep it on another planter. But uh, we also wanted to get central fill. Started looking at new planters. Went to our regular dealer where we get all our uh, trackers and implements. Priced out a new one OEM with hydraulic downforce. And we also wanted electric seed meters and central fill. We didn't have the electric meters before. We had hydraulic drive with two row shutoffs. So the electric meters would give us every row shut off and you know, the hydraulic downforce, it's like we have 24 individual little planters now. So we went, we went and looked at our dealer. We went brand new central fill, electric meters, adjustable row cleaners, and the hydraulic downforce, all those things. About $350,000 at the time. Remember, this is uh, winter of 2018 into early 2019. So it's before uh, supply chain, all this fun stuff we're dealing with now. So looked at that. Then also went to um, one precision dealer and priced out building a Harvest International bar. So ground up from new, custom just the way we like it, all those same specs. And that was also going to be pushing $350,000. Still 24 row, 30 inch, 60 foot. So then we looked at, we found a couple hours away, uh, Schlipp Precision. Uh, they're also a precision planting dealer. They actually keep a lot of deer planters, mostly deer planters at least on hand. And they had this 2009, the central fill that was in pretty good shape. And we looked at building it the way we wanted. We put on our row cleaners we wanted with a clean sweep. We put on uh, VSAT 2 with the V-Drive electric meters and the Delta Force. And they priced that out to us. And that was with, they took all the row units off the planter. Uh, they were sandblasted and powder coated all the shanks of the row units, all the wear parts rebuilt, all the bushings and parallel arms. So really, to us, essentially a new planter. Uh, the seed tubes from the central field of the rows were a little bit sun-baked, so we asked them to replace those to make sure that it was all in good order. So we did all that, and I just looked at my invoice to make sure I was right. Did all that, and it was just under 180,000. It was like 178,000. And to fully rebuild a 10-year-old planter and upgrade it with all those precision parts. 
versus 350,000 for going a couple different brand new builds either way. And here here was the real the real kicker for us was not just the price of the planter but our trade in. So at our local regular implement dealer, you know, it's it's their brand of planter but had some precision upgrades on it and stuff like that. Um, they weren't really selling a lot of that at the time used. Uh, they offered us $60,000 for it. When we went to Schlipp that built this planter for us, they offered us $84,000 versus the $60,000. So not only was the entire planter build nearly half the price of going brand new all OEM, we also got 24 grand more in trade. So that really sealed the deal for us. So we got the planner we wanted with the options we wanted for a good price. It was totally rebuilt. It's been running great for the last four seasons now. So we really like it. There might be a, a couple more things I want to add to it in the future. We'll see. But that was that was really why we made that decision. It, it came it came down to price. We got the Gen 3 2020, which is real nice. It's compatible with your iPad to run field view on, so you've always got stuff with you. It's it's handy to look at. Um, we just really like it. That's the way we went. So we actually took a 2012 planter that we ran for several years and went and bought a 2009, three years older, completely rebuilt, top to bottom, hot rotted it. If you want to say with the electric meters, the downforce and the clean sweep. And we've been very happy with this planter. It's been really nice. I hope that gives you a good idea of why we went with purchasing an older planter instead of a brand new one the last time around. We got everything we want, basically for half the price of brand new. And our trade was a lot, lot better. We got a lot, lot better trade. Um, just happened to go through a precision dealer on that. So. Hope that makes sense. If you got any questions, let me know. I can help you out. Thanks for watching.